everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that Always in my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry Hey my baddies Welcome back to my channel In today's video we are doing a art scene crafts are y'all excited? Yeah! You excited? Yes. yes! We got Luca, Taraya, and Kendall joining us today. And before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you have not subscribed to my channel, there is no need to wait. Also, don't forget to like it, like it, like it. Like it. Yes. Don't forget to like it, like it, y'all. Like and share this video with everybody. We truly appreciate it. All right, so let's get into it. We're going to be painting. Sit down. Come on your own. Let me paint. I'm gonna show y'all what we painting. So Kimmy is painting a unicorn. Mm -hmm. Toriah is painting a butterfly. I'm painting a peace sign along with this these blocks. I want to make shells out of. And Luca's painting a tray. Tray. Okay. So we got all of our stuff. We got color palettes. Yeah. We got paint brushes. We got red. sponge brushes. And we have five color paints. Red. So we got like a red, orange, a green, a gold, Sorry. pink, and purple. And we got our craft box. Yep. I'm gonna go get us some water for the paint. Yes, look at that smart. I'm gonna get us some water. So in the craft box, I'm gonna plug up the glue gun because we got all kind of like little things, sparkles, yeah. glitter. I even got crop gibbets because um, if you guys watched my Vlogmas series last year, I did Crocs for the kids. Um, we got other E600 or 6000 glue, Gorilla Glue. Um, all kind of stuff to get crafty. I hot glue, hot glue. Crafty, crafty. And no gorilla glue in your kids. No yeah. gorilla glue in your head, kids. Right. Hot. Teresa. No. No. I'm gonna put the box right down here because I want them to be able to see you guys painting. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna pass out us a palette. This is where we're gonna pour our paint into. Yes, Dollar yeah. Tree. And I got uh, most of these things from the Dollar Tree. The good Dollar Tree. Oh Lord, take care. Nobody knows how you paint. Nobody knows how you paint. All right. Oh, I dropped the remote. It's okay. We don't need it right away. All right, so we got us some water. Water? To dip our brushes in to clean our brushes. You know what we don't have though? What? Like a paper towel. You think we need that? What? To like dry the brush off? Mm -hmm. I don't have one, so you can go in the closet and get a rag and we'll just use one of those. All right, so while he gets that, Going, I'm just gonna um start putting a little bit of paint in everyone's thing. You got the green. I'm gonna give everybody one of each color. Yeah. This guy is gonna get some color. Green. These and these are metallic. The, the green and gold. Yeah. And, and then the the not, pink, purple, and red color is like a, a acrylic. It's not gold. This is gold. I don't know if yeah. we want to use all these colors, but we still gonna give them to them. Okay. And I'll then, just use it. Where it go over there? Oh well, I, I just put it purple in yours. Oh, thank you. I'll probably put some on the box. Thank you so much. <laughs> Red. Yep. And then pink. Pink. I like pink. And pink. I don't know how washable this is, so I should have got one more color. We would have had six colors. Yeah. Let's move these out the way. I just want it right here. Yeah, no, it's empty. Well, we can, you can use that to mix a color if you want to mix a color. All right, so for the remainder of the video, we're just going to be decorating, and I'm probably going to speed it up and do a voiceover. Yeah. Voiceovers are fun. So just enjoy us, watch us painting. Yeah. Um, and we'll be, we'll be hanging up. I need you to calm down, okay? Everybody's going to get one. Okay. They're so anxious. They're so anxious. You can even paint one of those. All right, we're gonna get into it. Let's paint. Taraya looks like she's drawing on hers first. I'm not even gonna be talking through the video because I think I'm gonna talk on the voiceover. I don't know because this video might be too long if we leave it. You know? Yeah. If we leave it out. So this piece I'm gonna do my colors of my um colors are for my living room. I'm gonna do the green and gold. I think it's I love the way this color is. I like pink. Coming out. This is a very fun It's very therapeutic. Relaxing. And it takes us off of our phones. You know? Yeah. It's sometimes being on the phones is draining. I got the phone, bro. To paint? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes being on the phone is draining. 
Yeah, it's taking me to When she ain't going on it? No, nah, she's going to her uh, lobby house. See, that's that good. Huh? This is not oh, good. Yeah. You guys spend time apart so she can go spend time with friends and, you know, y'all yeah. don't always have to be in front of each other. Cute. Cute. Well, we should um talk about what's going on in the world and stuff. I'm talking about music. What's we can. Music? I, I mean, we don't have to do a voiceover. We can stay here and talk with you guys. Yeah, because you know the baddies are family too, yes. so they got to be here with us too. This might be a long video, but hey, hey sometimes we'll spend time. you might want to watch this going to sleep. Some people. I've seen it, yeah. Be Love, like even other YouTubers, post videos that were like an hour long. That's good. That's cute. So. She, Go show it like closer to the camera. I'm gonna zoom in on the video when I edit, anyways. So she's drawing on like an outline. You could probably even draw like the eyes and stuff or the design on the butterfly. I'm kind of just like winging this. I don't know what kind of creation I'm gonna come up with, how creative I'm gonna just to be. Just the lines. But for now, you don't want to try to. Oh, you're doing like the border red. And then, because I don't know, I feel like look, maybe with this, I'll use one of those sponges. I'm going to do border red, and then like this right here is going to be green. Gonna be right. This is going to come along kind of weird. It's just it's painting my heart away. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> What we're not going to do is say anything negative about family. Right. Okay. All I said was it's, it's cool that for you guys to have time apart so you guys can, you know, give some other people in y'all life some of y'all attention. Right. That's all. No negative too. Nothing negative. It's just, you know. Life. It's life. just part of life. And my godson has seen me through pretty much every relationship I've been in. I was with her everywhere. Every single one. Because my first every boyfriend, step of the way. my very first boyfriend was his cousin. So. Where were, where were we at that day? Like, we had a, I know we had it upstairs, downstairs. Um, grandma, we lived yeah. with grandma saying she had a, um, a townhouse. Yeah. And we lived behind University Mall yeah. in Tampa. I look you like that apartment. That, that was well, whatever it was. It was I liked it. I just like having the upstairs and downstairs. Yeah. I just find it amazing. And me and we got our first library member. Yeah, I want to start with a spoon. I think so. Thought, and that was our only fight me and him ever got in. He cried really after that day. Yeah, he cried. He apologized and everything. But that you know, that's something for another story time. Cause it's a lot behind that. I'm getting my picture cute. Look at this. You're making this. your picture cute? Ooh, show them. Ooh. <coughs> this is to you. I play with all my pink and red. So, <coughs> what do you got? What topic should we talk about? Yeah. I got you. to the parking lot, probably. Yeah, park. I don't think the, the word can relate to you guys going to the parking lot. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you know, what can we talk about? I what are your baddies really want to talk about? I just be so focused. Guys? Well, my baddies really be saying that they would like to see more story times and like chats, just like chatting about stuff. They um have been very supportive and I'm so grateful. We are almost at 500 subscribers. We're at like 300 and... 90 something. Is it 90 something? I think it's 70 something. Or 50 something. It just hit 361, I think. So we're getting up there, guys. And... You know, I I very much want to do something when we hit our 500 mi 500 subscriber milestone, and then our definitely when we hit our 1K milestone, because that's when we can be eligible for monetization once we get the 4,000 watch hours behind it. So definitely big things to come. I just want to talk like more like with my baddies of like who I am. But I kind of wanted to do like a video just of me by myself talking with you guys saying like, who is J-Red? Because when we were on live last night, you know, Tarai said that she feels like I'm fake on YouTube because I'm not ratchet and, you know, ghetto how I am around like on every day. But it's not that I'm hiding from being ghetto and ratchet to you guys because I've showed you guys like that side of me too. But I kind of just want to do a video talking about like who J Red is because it's Sagittarius G J Red is my page name, channel name, and my name is Jessica. And I feel like Jessica and J Red are two people, two different people. They're two different personalities, and really, J Red is the more outgoing, ratchet, crazy, um, risk it all person. Like I am one of those people that literally risk it all all the time. 
And um, Jessica is more reserved, more professional, more calm, more laid back, followed by the book, follow the rules, um, the way my mama raised me, <laughs> pretty much. <coughs> pretty much Jessica is who John raised and Jay Red is who Jessica raised. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, so I'm kind of just going. So far, I did the C and the E green. I'm going to do the A gold and then the P okay. and the E green. That looks good. You guys are doing really good painting. I really, like, thought these kids was going to make a mess. Thought it was going to be crazy. Yeah, I really thought it was going to be a lot of mess. We painted at Grandma's house. What you doing? Look, y'all, Kit Kat, Kit Kat trying to join. Yeah, Kit Kat. Hi. Hi. Look, she want to get up here so bad. Yeah, no. She want to get up here so bad. So, so nosy. She is very nosy. Nosy baby. All right. I'm going to go for my gold. These little palette trays, guys, these are lifesavers. Like, this makes it so much cleaner. Oh, man, this gold doesn't really show. It shows on this mind. wood. I mean, it's showing. It's more like a watercolor for me. I'll put like a, a another layer on the gold. Look like an extra layer. Yo, look at mine. Ooh, it's great. I'm proud of you. So Kendall is very, very artistic. Um, and Tariah, they both know how to draw. And Kimmy knows how to write her name. She's four years old and she knows how to write her name. She knows how to swim. And she knows how to swim. Like she's very great at everything she does. How about you guys tell the baddies a little bit about your guys and stuff? Like how old you are, what grade you're in, what do you want to be when you grow up? Okay. Go ahead, Tryon. Okay, my age is 10. And I'm in the fourth grade because I fell kindergarten. Yeah, I go to kindergarten. But I don't got to What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I'm going to high school. Uh, it's a hard question. You're not sure? Yeah. I'm sure, but I don't want to tell the baddies. You don't want to tell the baddies? No. Nope. She's holding body. back. I want to tell the baddies. She wanted to be a surprise. Nope. You just don't want them to know? That's crazy. She's rude. My niece is so rude, y'all. Y'all got to excuse her. So, Kendall, how, tell the baddies how old you are and what grade you're in. I'm four. And what grade are you going to next year? I'm to kindergarten? Yeah. She said to Tariah. She's going to Tariah school. I'm going to Tariah And what do you want to be when you grow up? Mm -hmm. I want to be a teacher. You want to do what? I want to you want to be a teacher? She said she wants to listen to her teacher. So do you want to be a teacher, Kevin? When you yeah. become an adult, what do you want to do? You want to be a teacher? You want to be a doctor? You want to be a singer? You I want to be, be a, I want to be a doctor. A doctor? A doctor. doctor, doctor. Ooh, that's a lot of school, girl. That's okay. a no for me. Well, I don't like school. I like school. Mm -hmm. Did you say that now? Mm -hmm. Oh, you like it when you get in the first Yeah, I'm going to the first It's raining out here again. Y'all hear it? Yeah. What about you, Luca? You want to tell them a little bit? Well, I am a now an adult. I'm 18 years old. Legally, I'm an adult. But I'm not, I can't buy no stuff. Like, adult products. Uh, <laughs> but I want to work at Mosaic, but I also want to You're be a so boss. Done. So I'm trying to think of something. So you want to be an entrepreneur? Basically. You want to have your own business? I want to work for myself. You want to have your own company? Money. Yes. She's like his godmother. Look at these. I just got to think about. I'm, <laughs> that's not, oh, that's low-key nice though. Okay. That's you did good. Nice and, when, and then you can, when it dry a little bit, you can add sparkles. I'm, I'm going to do the back. I'm doing oh, you got to do the back first? You really can you go blow your nose, baby, and come back? Just do you really thought this was going to be a mess. Me and Kenny might think. Mm -hmm. we'll be in our but yeah, um, I'm going to do something. This life gonna take me on. I'm, I'm gonna go on a journey. Over. Yeah. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna be no bum though. I know that. Yeah, it's no problem not knowing exactly what you want to do, but you know what direction you want to go in. I so want to go in a good direction. That's good. Yeah. I love the entrepreneur lifestyle. Um, back in 2000. Go ahead, baby. Back in 2013 through 2016, I helped a friend of mine open up. Uh, like three different restaurants, a nightclub, and a nightclub, yeah. So I learned a lot. I felt like I was my own boss, even though I had to answer to him, but I was like the kitchen manager. I did all the hiring. I hired the employees. I interviewed the employees. I trained the employees. 
Um, Luca even worked with me. He was 14 years old. He had his first job with me. Over the summer, he worked Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. And when I say he worked, we worked him. And I uh, think that taught you a lot, you know, at a young age, how important it is to be a hardworking man. I know what the I can I can't work in the food industry. It's I can too, be a boss. It's too but busy. sometimes the boss has to work in the kitchen too. It's not always right. the boss lazy. It's, sometimes the boss got to do work too. But not all the time. He get breaks. More breaks than the employees. Luca had to work my hours, and my hours was from open to close every day. So he got a taste of how it feels to be like in management. When you're a manager, it's what the business needs. And that's when you have to be there. So, yeah, it, it taught him, you know, work ethics. It taught him how to be respectable to people, be able to listen to people. Um, school taught him that too, but school's never really been a, a fan for Luca. He's never been a fan. Man, of I'm so happy to be out of school. If y'all haven't, check out his graduation video. It was very beautiful. Luca was a fighter. Very, very beautiful. A little bit. Nobody used to charm me like that, but. He was more so of a fighter in school when he was in elementary school. Yeah. I, I think that's Rennie. Yeah, he had a lot of problems when he was a kid, kid, kid. But when he got, I don't know what happened in middle school. Middle school. I don't even remember what middle I school. Had a, I had, honestly, middle school. I met people, I done things, and I realized like fighting. You don't always have to fight. Like you can always walk away from some shit. Like I had a homeboy named Laugh, R.P. Bless his soul. Uh, yes, you know, I was to get into a fight with somebody. Oh, uh, like, yeah, you want to worry me? Like man, don't fight, don't fight that. Dude. Look how look how big you is. Look how look, bro. You, don't do that, bro. You gonna go straight to you. You learned that in middle school. Yeah, my whole my whole boy told me that. Like, cause cool. you know, in like when you, you, when a fight gonna happen, everybody gonna find out. Right. Everybody gonna find out. So, uh, what fight was gonna happen between me and a little light skin kid? And find out. Don't do that. Yeah, you can do that. So, uh, don't. It's not always about violence, kids. Right. When it's about family, it's a different thing. And Luca's always been about family. Like he is out of all his well now i'm not gonna say all but out of his immediate meaning his brother and his mother's sister's kids luca has um he's the only one that went down a different path and for the better luca's never been in trouble well i've been in some trouble back. i take that back he has trouble. been in trouble he was on probation in middle school for protecting it was elementary Elementary. yeah for protecting his niece so his niece amber that's my goddaughter he got in a fight and hit this little boy because the boy was bullying Amber and the boy's parents pressed charges. What parent, what, like, why are you pressing charges on a little boy? You were like 10? Yes. Like, come on, man. So, yeah, he did get in some trouble, but he was defending his family. So, Luca is very family oriented. He'd rather hang around his family than be in the streets. And I think he gravitated towards that because he's seen his brothers and his cousins be in prison. So, he didn't want to take that path. And then he was also raised more in a suburban setting rather than the ghetto, like like everyone else was. We was all in the hood growing up, and we kind of had kept Luca in the suburbs and just gave him a better path. Well, I was him. there. He had now he was in the hood, like especially Cleveland Elementary. Yeah, like yeah, his up. his first elementary school, he was in the, well, not the first one. You were in the private school, yeah. the first elementary school. But when he got when he went back to do it again, he went over to Cleveland Elementary over in Tampa. And it's very ghetto over there. So yeah, he got a lot of fights and stuff there. But once we removed him, you know, from the ghetto, it got him in the suburbs. People tr would try to, but once they seen that, okay, he got a little temper on him, we're not gonna bother him. People left him alone, he'd be all right. Now I know in high school, you was on the bus that one day you called me. Oh, yeah. I thought I had to, oh my God, I thought yeah. I was gonna have to go get him the way he was snapping. Oh yeah, yeah. that video was everywhere after that. Yeah. But yeah, so Luca just went down like a better path than his cousins and his brother. Luca has not been locked up. He's never had to do any time. So we are so proud of him for that. That's good. Yeah. Now we just hoping Tori don't ever have to do no time. Cause Tori, you a little rough, baby. She a little rough around the edges. She's already skipping school at ten years old, guys. Oh yeah, let's talk about that. Why are you doing that? Yeah. You want she not gonna talk? Tori gonna shut down. She always do. She shut down. She don't let people in. She don't talk back. Like she, she like, in trouble. Your if she in trouble and I'm grilling her and I want answers, she will shut down and won't say nothing. That's the person that's not gonna say nothing. She ain't gonna say team. nothing. That's, that's scary. No, if the police ever interrogate her, they're never gonna get anything out of her. <laughs> she never gonna say nothing. She gonna be like, I don't she know. just gonna sit there and look at you like, I don't know. Shit. You the wrong day. She, she not even gonna say I don't know. She's not gonna say nothing. I get, don't I get so mad when I'm like, talk! I, I'm talking to you! 
yeah. And she just sits there and like, girl, you doing all that for what? <laughs> That's how she be giving me a look. Yeah, but when she in trouble and getting disciplined, <laughs> and my sister on her ass yelling at her, she just, and my sister like, you don't even fucking say nothing. Mm -hmm. You just sitting there. Yep, she don't say shit. <laughs> But parents don't want you to talk back though. Right. But when you don't talk back and don't say nothing, that's it. No, because Joe Hannah be like, what is your problem? What's wrong? Why did you do that? Toronto just sit there. Like, I ain't telling her shit. <laughs> You'll never know my attention. You'll never that's know. her. I hit that kid with the bus because I just wanted to sometimes. I'd be angry. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so did you ever hit somebody with a bus before? Or with a toy bus? I was gonna say how the hell she got thing. behind the wheel of a bus. Spark, spark, spark. I'm trying to make them work. Yeah. Like, All right. So, we are doing good. The video is at what, 25 minutes long? You guys want to come back when we're finished and show them our results? Yes. All right. So, we'll be back, guys, when, when we're finished to show you the results. Where's my. Can we get the remote for me? Okay. We're going to show you guys the results of everything. Um, maybe when I hit hook up the glue gun or whatever, um, I'll talk, we'll be back. All right, guys. We're back. She definitely wanted to show y'all her unicorn. Come on, Zulat. And my orange. Here's my peace sign, and I put like a splat effect. I just splattered some paint on there. And I made orange, orange. Here's mine. She made orange out of her colors. And then, guys, I'm going to get some popsicle sticks and stack this up and make it a show. But I did some splat effect on these, too. Oh, I'm going to get my popsicle sticks, and I'm going to make this a show for my crystals. The bottom's gold. Go show them yours. I was trying to explain something. You kept jumping in. It's all about, I be trying to teach them patience and wait their turn, but they just do what they want to do. Go ahead and show. Explain. Uh, the design was not, I'm not really going for this, but the red, but Done. it looks good. And I decided to put these over here. And Luca did a splat effect. You go ahead and come. Yes, sir, you did it. Show y'all his tray. I showed them mine already. Bye. Luca did his tray green, yellow, and gold. I mean, red, yep, green, and gold, and then purple splats. He did a good job. Unique. Got it on my face. Yeah, he got paint all over me from splatting it. But it's all good. This paint is actually very... I got paint The paint is actually very um washable. It's easy washable. Um, We did a good job. Yeah. I'm excited about our project. Y'all ready to do this again? Yeah. Maybe we'll do another one during this summer and paint something else. Are you going to give yours to somebody? Mm -hmm. Who are you giving yours to? Mm -hmm. Can't think about it yet. You don't know? I'm giving it to my grandma. To your grandma? Oh, she's so sweet. Anyways, guys, so that was our crafty day. I don't want to say it was a DIY thing because we didn't really put nothing together. We just painted some stuff that was already carved out for us. Yes. So thank you for joining this video. Don't forget to like and share with everybody. Until next time, bye. Bye. Everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that Always in my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry